PSD with you. Tutorials on gaming. Before we start, if this is your first time to the channel and you would like to learn more about FreeBSD and the journey to a better desktop and server, then please hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. Right, we're going to have a look at the current state of Cinnamon Desktop on FreeBSD. And I'm using my main machine for this. And the current version that we're going to be installing is 2.4.6, released in 2015 or thereabouts. And as many of you will probably know that the current version at the moment, at the time of this recording, is 4.2.3, released in July 2019, but not for FreeBSD. Unfortunately, uh, the FreeBSD version is stuck at 2.4.6, and it doesn't look like it's going to be updated anytime soon. There is a development version in GitHub, or Git, and yeah, I, I couldn't build it and it was complaining of outdated libraries etc so i don't think that's going anywhere and even that was um a couple of versions behind so i don't know but anyway we're gonna uh, we're gonna install and i've already done that and now i'm just going to configure x in the rc because i like to use uh, the xdm login manager and you have to configure it to point to your desktop that you want did a little uh, you've got a few there I just want to disable uh, MWM that's my my uh, go-to um, window manager right and just add the entry at the bottom Right. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot. By the way, I need to uh, disable some of these startup programs because they won't look too good on a uh, non motive desktop. I think that's it. Yeah, okay, that'll do. Right, so I've logged in and I've done a bit of configuring, changed the wallpaper, etc., etc., to get it how I would uh, normally have it look if I was to use a desktop environment. And First off, everything feels very laggy. Everything's very, I don't know, it's not running smooth at all. And on this machine, everything I put on, oh, that was a, a glitch. I've got two screens. One screen has got a web browser running um, a live stream of a uh, Russian news event. And the other one is is the one that Simple Screen Recorder is recording. So I'm just going to... Yeah, that's running all right. So changing desktops gets it to quickly flash what's on. Yeah. I understand it's probably uh, it's meant to be an animation, but it's not working properly. And this is one of many problems that's I found on the uh, Cinnamon desktop on FreeBSD at this its point, And uh, I don't think they're ever going to get fixed. Some weird graphical issues going on. Uh, hmm, okay. Well, let's have a look on the menu thing and I'll uh, see what's going on with this. Yeah, you get your usual menus. It picked up various knickknacks that I've got installed on the system. Oops. I'll try that again. Yeah, they're going, I'm not going to go through the list because obviously it's, it's what I've installed. It's not indicative of uh, cinnamon. Um, it's very laggy. And I could run KDE on here very nicely and, uh, and that can be quite intensive. Yeah, so it's not... Uh... I'll try this one. Look at the control panel, system settings. Again, it feels very laggy. Okay, well... We'll have a look at the... Uh, okay, we'll have a look at the effects. Comes with effects already enabled. 
which could be uh, causing the problem. Might revisit that in a bit and uh, switch some of it off. Uh, okay, one well, thing I do like about cinnamon is I get a lot of uh, the applets. I have found that a lot of these applets don't work on this uh, earlier version. I've tested one or two out, and the uh, the clock, the calendar, and the calculator are probably the only ones that really do work. But I must admit that there are some very tasty ones here. I like the Gmail one. That's uh, that's tempting. Uh, look at these ones again. You know, some of these work, some of these don't. And I think that's just really par for the course when it comes to uh, such an earlier version that people obviously develop for the latest. Um, Okie doke. We installed the desk cube one, that doesn't seem to work. And the other ones don't, so I don't know whether or not it's... That's causing the lagginess. The wobbly windows don't work. And that one doesn't work. Hmm. Right, that's not that's not liking it at all. Some calculations. Let's have a look at the calculator. Oh, ah. This is. Ah, cinnamon has just crashed. You are currently running fallback mode. Interesting. Right, we're going to try and find out why it's doing this. Uh, why it feels like it might potentially just crash. So, um, let's find... Oh, I had a brain from them. Okay, I'm just going to get a terminal for going. Keeps glitching. Okay, here we go. We're looking at the uh, top processors. And you can see instantly that Compton uh, is taking up nearly 100% of the, the CPU time. Um, CPU 3 and 4, so obviously gets shared between them. But it's taking, it's, it's, that's making the system lag it. And we're also using 2.4 uh, gigabytes. Um, which is not very good, because I'm not doing anything. So it's, uh, I'm just going to disable them. Still a little bit, not as bad. Memory consumption really hasn't come down. Compton is still running. We obviously need to disable Compton altogether. Glitchy glitchy. So let's kill them all. Okay. And that hopefully will start to make a difference. Yeah, memory's come down a little bit. Okay, if I left it a bit longer to uh, settle down, it'll probably fall quite a bit. So, yeah. Um, after that, things did improve a little bit. I didn't get any more glitches on the screen. And um, it's not perfect. But then again, you know, it's uh, a very earlier version. So that's it. That's just really the current status of cinnamon on the freebsd desktop as a freebsd desktop and it's not i mean it's not really viable now because many of the bugs or, or problems with earlier versions are not going to get fixed shame really so anyway thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time if you want to see more videos like this then hit that like button and to make sure you don't miss out please consider subscribing as this really helps me help you